Hi! This month we are taking great thinkers to great heights. We usually choose one great thinker, but as brothers who always work together, I'll make an exception. Who? Of course the Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville Wright. They designed and flew the first powered airplane. Their airplane and the methods that they devised to control it aren't much different than a modern plane today. And incredibly, a mere 66 years after they had established that powered flight was possible, a fellow son of Ohio, Neil Armstrong, brought a piece of their original Wright Flyer airplane with him when he landed on the moon in 1969. Like me, the Wright brothers were first inspired to start their journey with a toy. For them, it was a model helicopter made of cork and bamboo and paper, powered by a rubber band. Now we call it a helicopter, but at the time, there were no helicopters, there were no flying machines. So it was simply a curiosity, a child's plaything. But it mesmerized the boys and it sparked a passion for what aviation could be. Let's learn a little bit more about their life. 1889, the West Side News. Orville publishes a newspaper, the West Side News, and Wilbur joins him as editor. Unfortunately, the newspaper does not profit. 1893 to 1895, the bike shop. The Wright brothers begin to sell and repair bicycles. The Wrights manufacture their own bicycles called the St. Clair and the Van Cleef. The Wright brothers fly gliders at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, refining their control system. At home in Dayton, Ohio, they build a wind tunnel and conduct research on wing shapes. 1903, the Wright brothers make the first controlled sustained power flights at Kitty Hawk, a future site of the Wright brothers memorial. Nineteen oh nine. The Wrights begin to manufacture airplanes. Nineteen twelve. Wilbur Wright dies of typhoid in Dayton, Ohio. Nineteen forty eight. Orville Wright dies of a heart attack in Dayton, Ohio, and the Wright brothers' first powered airplane, the nineteen oh three Flyer, is enshrined at the Smithsonian Institution. Nineteen fifty three. The Wright brothers had a monument dedicated to them near the site of their first successful flight. <laughs> 